One, two, three, we're going to Zimbabwe. Happy days! <laughs> There we go. The next chapter in the journey of life, the great unknown. And the Gillespie family have said yes. We know the UK because we've been there a couple of times now. And, uh, but we don't really know Zimbabwe that well. So it is a bit of the unknown. And as you mentioned earlier, there, there has been some issues in Zimbabwe over the years. And, uh, you know, so, so you, you are a bit, little, little bit concerned. There's no doubt about that. But we're looking at it, uh, that old saying, the glass half full. And, you know, we're just going to embrace the whole thing. The, the whole challenge, uh, it's going to be exciting for us and we just can't wait to get over there. Wife Anna is cautious but then she's focused on her three boys, all under the age of five. It has taken me a little while to warm up to the idea, I have to admit, um, but we've done three stints, six month stints in the UK, so that was kind of um, an apprenticeship I suppose, this is the big one, this is third world country, it's going to be a lot different. And the big one seems like just a big present at Christmas for the boys. Yay, we're going to Zimbabwe! I think the fact that they get to go on a big aeroplane across the world and and, uh, and experience that, I think, is probably their most exciting part of it at the moment. I don't think they have a clue what they're in for. It's perhaps the toughest feat of all to let excitement beat fear moving forward. And Jason may have just cracked it. He's got a lot to offer um, to a team, but actually getting the point across, um, knowing that you've got the coaching ability, um, he only realised that a couple of years ago in Wales, he, um, he took on a, a young guy as a bit of a, in a mentoring role and this kid was about to be dropped from the side, just having a really bad time and Jason just worked with him for a really short time and he ended up having one of his best seasons and wrote Jason a really nice letter and I think from that Jason's really sort of grasped the fact that he could he could be a coach. Sort of jumping into the unknown really with the coaching uh, caper, um, as I said the opportunity has come up and and I, I think I know what needs to be done to succeed at first class level. I've been one of these very lucky cricketers that I've played under, uh, some wonderful, uh, wonderful captains, uh, some fantastic coaches, and with some great players. And you just tend, it's, it's hard not to pick up uh, little bits and pieces along the way of what they've done to improve their games, to help their teams improve. And, and you know, if I can just uh, use some of that knowledge and, and pass it on to the guys at the Midwest Rhinos, and I think. Uh, I think I can do a reasonable job. Reasonable job or not, what is certain is that this trip to Zimbabwe is already a great Australian story and one that excites to explore further.